Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Kelvin Gaslam versus D-Rod Daniel Rodriguez. Kelvin Gaslam, 18 wins, 9 losses, 2-3 in, in his last 5 fights. Minus 240 favorite, 32 years old. 5'9 with a 71 and a half inch reach. Fighting Daniel Rodriguez, who's 17-4, and 3-2 in, in his last 5 fights. 2 fight losing streak, 1-3 in three for Kelvin in his, in his 4, last 4. Plus 190 underdog for Rodriguez, 37 years old, six foot one with a 74 inch reach, couple inches taller with a two and a half inch reach for Daniel Rodriguez. The problem with me with this, the problem with this fight for me, this matchup, is Daniel Rodriguez. If this was before the Neil Magny fight, I would be like, or, or even the Leech fight, then I'd be like, okay, this is a tough test for Calvin Gaslam. I like him in it, but it's a tough test. Twelve finishes for Daniel Rodriguez. The problem is, coming off of the Ian Gary knockout, which was early last year, you know, May, uh, which I'm not worried about that, but the leech fight, he didn't look great. He hasn't necessarily looked great since the uh, Preston Parsons fight. He, you could really start to see his age. He's 37 years old now. He'll be 38 in December. It's just that age is starting to show. He's a little bit slower. His combinations aren't as good. That power is not necessarily really there anymore. Kelvin's still fast, still has good movement, still durable, and he still has power. He has good combinations. Are they going to wrestle a little bit? Possibly. But I suspect Kelvin Gaston's going to be wanting to put the pace on him, stuff his takedowns when he chooses to take him down, and just make him pay when he misses big. I can see another big finish for Kelvin Gaston. Also see a decision. But really, I see Kelvin Gaston getting the job done. I think he does well against Rodriguez. Slower. He's aging. Kelvin Gaston for the win. And as always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.